guys welcome to my very first video of 2022 i'm literally so happy to get back on this freaking camera i've been taking a long break but i'm back so if you guys are new here my name is jada i'm 23 years old and i make fashion and lifestyle related content very soon i will be sprinkling in a little bit of beauty so make sure you guys are on the lookout for that but if you guys are new and you guys aren't subscribed yet be sure to subscribe to my channel also press the notification bell to get notified every time i post a new video and comment and like this video down below but but in today's video I am going to be prepping and preparing for 2022 I know by the time you guys are seeing this video we're gonna be well into 2022 but I'm not sure if you guys are anything like me but my 2022 started off very slow last week I planned I prepped I prepared and then the first week of January hit and I was just not feeling it I was not as productive as I wanted to be I was sick I just wasn't feeling it and I felt like it was a bit too late to like jump on those goals then it hit me that it's never too late to start planning and creating goals and jumping on those goals because literally the new year is just another day but i think it is pretty refreshing to know that it is a new year it's like a new chance to start to reach those goals or to start working for those goals that you created for the new year so for me i do have a lot of goals and stuff that i did set but before we get into all of that i think one of the first things that i want to do is kind of like revamp my space in my room to reflect me in the current day and age more so than my room does now which reflects me back in 2020 i have like the trendy leaves going on i have a lot of pink in my room and i think i've really changed change from that my fashion sense and like my style literally changes like the seasons so I really want to change my room to reflect me and my current states I do a lot of work in my room I'm always in here working filming recording on my computer editing sleeping in here whatever it may be I spend so much time in my room so I think it's important for me well, no matter how much longer I plan on being here to just change my room to reflect me and my current state so I'm gonna start by doing that for 2022 so i just got my sheets out of the wash they're just all white sheets that i got from target pillowcases uh you know fitted sheet and all of that and i also bought a new comforter set so this is the ugg comforter set it's like reversible so one side of it is sherpa the other side is like your regular comforter set really cozy vibes are what i'm going for so i definitely picked this up i'll leave it linked down below it's from bed bath and beyond if you guys are interested in shopping like the ugg collection i got a lot of stuff from there which i'll show you guys but i'm gonna start by taking down these leaves and then I'm gonna make up my bed so that way I won't have like all of the residue from that on my bed. but I'm literally in love with my bedding already and I feel like it's already made my room a lot brighter which I love about like white furniture and white walls and all that unfortunately the walls in my house are not painted like white they're like a cream color but I think adding in like white furniture my white comforter set will really brighten it up in here and also help with like the lighting in my videos which is one goal that I'm aiming for this year is just like better quality videos better quality pictures I took down the leaves off the wall they didn't all come off like really smoothly like I did peel some paint offs hopefully 
I can fix that and I have other stuff to put up on the wall back there which I'll show you guys in a minute but the Ugg comforter set is literally so cozy I am in love it is going to keep me conscious of like making sure I take off my makeup at night or if not my sheets will literally be the color of my makeup I did see recently though on TikTok Jackie Ina was like showing us how she keeps her whites white and she was using like her regular like washing liquid Clorox but she was using a bluing liquid which is something I want to look into so I'm going to add that to my target list to make sure that I pick it up but keep these whites white but next I am going to decorate the rest of my room I do need to do some cleaning on my desk my desk space is what is a mess so uh, we're gonna get into that <laughs> Amazon have been my go-to's for like redecorating my space so a quick little haul of like the stuff that I got I did get this Sherpa rug to go on my floor right in front of my bed I do want to vacuum and stuff so I need to make sure I clean and get all of that stuff off of my floor before I put down my white rug I think another thing about having all white is it's going to also make sure that I eat on my desktop so I need to make sure my desk area is clean because I'm not going to eat on my bed because if I spill something in my white bedding it's just not gonna be good. I did get these wooden picture ledges to go right above my bed and I'm gonna like put plants. I have this little pictures with have like really cute prints on them and it goes really well with like my stuff that is already hanging on the side of my bed. So I'm just gonna put these on the ledges with like plants and stuff like that. And I'll leave all this stuff linked below in case you guys are looking for like a little revamp or something of your room for the new year. This is just like a wreath diffuser that I'm gonna put above my bed. Another cute little picture. I got this from TJ Maxx so I don't think you can link stuff from TJ Maxx if so I will but I also got this to like put above my bed I like looking around my room and having like quotes and things just to like remind me to stay present and just like remind myself of like all of these really nice quotes and stuff that I have around my room so this one just says choose happy I got vases because I want to become like a flower girl so I have a lot of like fake plants and stuff but I want to start buying flowers every week candle accessories to like clip the candle and stuff like that some fake plants so I found all my fake plants at either Target or TJ Maxx all the ones I'm about to show you are from TJ Maxx cute little hanging one that kind of like hangs off of the side candle this one is in the scent poinsettia blossom it smells so good so TJ Maxx is my go-to for candles here's another hanging plant I did buy a shoe rack like a tall shoe rack so I'm gonna like put this at the top of the shoe rack also bought a sneaker candle which I'll do like an unboxing for on Instagram and TikTok so this is definitely going to go on top of there next to like the shoe candle really cute vibes and then this is the last plant that I got from Target this is gonna go on top of my bed on those little ledges the wooden vibes does well with like the picture frame so like I think that would be really cute together I got this throw blanket from Target. It's like a cream color. I'm gonna put that on my bed. And I wanted to keep the vibes that like, my furniture is black in my room all over. So I did buy a black clothing rack, a new clothing rack, cause this one is, is literally on its last leg. Like it's leaning so badly. And I got a, another rug to match it. It's just white and black to like match my room and furniture along with like my comforter set. And then this little clean bag chair. This is gonna go just like anywhere so people can come in my room and like, have a place to sit or if I ever want to sit and like journal or read a book I have this little chair to sit on comfortably. I also got a lot of stuff from Amazon that I've been literally meaning to like film and like unbox for the longest but I haven't yet. So I've always wanted a perfume tray and now that I'm like racking up and um, getting more perfumes and stuff I bought a perfume tray off of Amazon so it's wooden it literally looks just like my furniture that has my perfume on it so it looks just like my dresser so just a wooden perfume tray just to sit my perfumes on and make it look all cute 
I got a vanity tray. So this is another vanity tray because I couldn't decide if I wanted the circle one or a square one. So this is also wooden. It comes with two small ones and then one long rectangular one. So like I'll just play around and find spaces to put and use these. This is a new closet rack. I'll show you guys in my closet. I feel like that's like a video for another day. My closet is a mess, but I bought a new pants rack because my pants rack literally fell to the floor. This is a lot larger than I thought it would be, but this is a jewelry organizer, but I'm gonna use it for my makeup. Brushes, but it is a lot larger than I expected. So like it might take up a lot of space on my desk. I'll just have to test it out and see. That's another thing I wanna tackle. My makeup brushes are literally disgusting. I do wanna sanitize, wash those, but I also feel like that's something for another day that literally will take forever. And lastly, this one's kinda heavy. I think this might be my shoe rack. So these are hangers. I bought new hangers to go with my new clothing rack. So they're like super heavy duty gun black hangers. So we're just gonna like stick with like the black vibe and make sure everything looks alike. So I ended up finding a spot to put the makeup organizer on my desk and my desk is like fully organized. I did move my desk over because in this corner I wanna put my shoe rack. I think I'm gonna set that up now and also set up my clothing rack so that I can be like completely done with my room and have a space to like sit and put my clothes away that are on my desk chair to do my vision board and stuff. And I think I'm gonna do that now and then hang up my pants rack in my closet because my closet is a literal mess. I can't even show you guys right now because this is what my room looks like. So this is all the stuff that I need to put away and set up in my room. My old clothing rack that's literally leaning and covering my closet area. These are all the clothes that I need to hang up for like hauls and later videos. Trash is all behind there and then these are old linens that I need to either throw away or wash and put away. finished putting up my clothing rack last night I just now put everything on the hangers that I wanted to hang up on there for like my next two haul videos and now I think I'm going to go ahead and set up the shoe rack because I need my room to be clean in order for me to be able to film TikToks so I'm going to just go ahead and like finish my room completely and then I'm going to go into my closet and kind of make space for the stuff I take off of my old clothing rack I need to like be more minimalist with stuff I keep on my clothing rack like I would order 10 
or sew things from Zara and just throw them all on the clothing rack which is why one day it just fell to the ground. I'm also going to add some shoes over to the clothing rack too so whatever I don't put on the shoe rack I'll put on the clothing rack because it has two rows for shoes now with this which is perfect. I just need to figure out exactly what I'm going to do with the shoe boxes. My room literally looks a mess and now you guys can like see behind me I have clothes and stuff on the bed and like, packages that I need to go through and get out of my room. I just got new clothes in for work for me to start creating videos for next week. So I'm going to put that in like my storage room, which I'll show you guys. It's literally a mess. And my desk just has like extra hangers and stuff that I need to put in my closet. I want to go ahead and set up that shoe rack. Hopefully it doesn't take too long because literally the clothing rack I had to redo because I did it wrong the first time. So hopefully we can do this in less than 20 minutes. of my shoe rack um so this is like all wooden i'm not really good with screwdrivers and nails and stuff like that like the other one was pretty easy doing my clothing rack but this shoe rack just used like a lot of like nails and screwdrivers and stuff and i don't think that my hands are strong enough to screw everything really tight so that's why they're looking like this like the nails are in there for sure but it's not screwed in tight enough and i tried to look for my dad's electric screwdriver but i couldn't find it and he's not answering the phone so i'm just gonna wait until my dad gets here to help me do this when he gets off work but in the meantime, I think I'm just going to set this to the side and clean up my background. One of my New Year's resolutions for 2022 is to be more consistent on TikTok. I think I'm relatively consistent, but there's always room for me to be more. So my goal for 2022 is to post two times, well, three times a day on TikTok. And I've been doing it for the last week and a half and I've seen tremendous growth. So I'm just like imagining what my growth would be like at the end of 2022 if I keep posting three times a day. So that's been one of my main goals and I'm sticking to that. So it's always been me against the lighting, literally every day because it gets dark at 5 and right now it's about 2 30 so I'm about to go ahead and clean up some and so I can film those three videos and get those posted and then when my dad gets here I'll finish out my room and I'm also really excited to create a vision board but before I get into like the mental stuff I really want to make sure my space is clean and set up nicely and show that to you guys but a vision board is like one of my biggest things for 2022 in 2021, I've made like a mood board, just like describing myself, the things that I like and stuff like that instead of as my screensaver. But I think opening up my laptop each day, because literally I'm on my laptop every day, and just looking at those goals and seeing what I want for myself in 2022 will be really good for me to just like see and envision and manifest each day. So I'm definitely going to do that and film that for you guys. and I basically just went through all of my pants and stuff and like sorted through them I like to color coordinate them or like separate them in terms of like cargoes jeans colored pants and where they're from so I went through all of them and sorted them and I also put in my new pants rack and just kind of went through my closet and made space and took some stuff out I am going to be having like a big sale with a bunch of stuff from my closet very soon so be on the lookout on my Instagram story I'm actually working with a new app called Galaxy and Galaxy's like an Instagram live slash Depop put all together so I'm going to be selling my stuff live and you can like live shop and buy my stuff while you're watching the live so make sure you guys are on the lookout for like the tiktoks and the ig stories and the reels about that date coming very soon if you guys are interested in buying some of my stuff but here is what it looks like right now in my closet so this is my new jeans rack i got it from amazon i'll link it down below if you guys are interested in it i kind of made space for everything in here these are like jackets and stuff like that sweatpants dress pants and then these are like summer shorts and stuff because i don't really like do a clean out from summer to winter so now i'm just gonna put all of my pants in here i also took stuff off of the clothing rack and hung it up if i could this stuff is actually going to be folded the purses are going elsewhere and then all of my shoes and stuff are going to be put on the other clothing rack so i have two rows i'm going to literally take the shoes out of the boxes and put the boxes up on top of my closet and then whatever shoes are left over i just going to go on the shoe rack which i still haven't set up yet but i'm definitely going to get that done tonight
my little rack my shoe rack i'm gonna leave it right there in the corner and, like put all the shoes in it and set up the plant and stuff and it's gonna be a really cute vibes i'm gonna stock all of my shoe boxes up in my shoe box that i like i take the shoes out of it's just gonna be really cute really feeling this already like i'm excited i'm not even done with my room fully and i'm already feeling revamped refreshed and ready for 2022 without all of the clutter we can get into more of the mental things which i'm very excited about so i pulled out my journal i got this from tj maxx probably like a year or so ago so i'm going to use this and write out at the top half of the page things that i enjoyed about 2021 and at the bottom half things that i did not like i always find when doing stuff like this that it's always easier to write out the things you didn't like versus the things that you did like but it is also important to note that the things that you like are most likely going to be your goals because you're going to want to do more of those things in 2022, especially if you enjoyed them. So I'm excited to start brainstorming and just writing out things that I liked versus disliked. And it's also important to note that it doesn't matter how big or how small these things are, they're all super important and they can all be life changing. that was actually a lot harder than i expected it to be but i'm really glad that i did it was really cool to like see the things that i liked versus disliked in 2021 and i'm definitely going to set some of those as my goals in 2022 but now we're going to get into like the fun part of the mental planning and preparing for 2022 i'm sure you guys have seen everybody literally on all social media is creating their vision boards and send them as their screensavers desktops whatever it may be I'm going to do the same. I think I'm going to use Canva, which is what I use to like make my thumbnails and stuff like that. And I'm going to just put together a collage using Pinterest pins. So I'm going to go on Pinterest, find different things and like save different things that I want to reflect my life in 2022, put them all together and set it as my screensaver. I just think it's really nice to have that to like look back to and just look at it as a daily reminder of goals that you want for yourself in 2022 and how you want your life to look. So I actually have one on my computer right now that I created in 2021 so this is more so aesthetic and vibes more so than goals so I have a lot of pink and brown just like a mood board 100% so I have gold necklaces I have mocha Jordan ones glossier products glasses a lot of like lip gloss and gold a Tesla lots of jewelry and like Louis Vuitton so just like a mood board more so than goals so we're really going to change this up but I'm going to go on Pinterest and look over a few pins and we're going to get started
my vision board. It was a lot of fun making this. If I were to like zoom in, you'll be able to see that I have a lot of like dogs on here. So I have some kawapoos. I really want to get a dog, but of course I'd have to move out first. So I have apartments on here. I plan on moving out this year, probably very soon in the year. I have a Jeep Wrangler on here. One of my goals is to buy a new Jeep. I have some like YouTube plaques on here. I really want to reach some milestones on YouTube so I'll be consistent. I have really cute clothes, travel. I'm into like traveling so I want to travel to some new places this year. I have cameras, film cameras, so a lot to do with like YouTube and taking more pictures. I have like shoots. I want to do some like photo shoots. So mostly just like travel, making more money. Fun quote that say like just reminders like I can and I will watch me. This is a year of my dreams coming true. It's just a lot of cool quotes and this was really cool just making this and like seeing all of my dreams on one collage and I think it'll be great for me to look back on. So yeah, so these are really good reminders. Hopefully like as I start to reach these goals I can just like look back at it and like oh look I had this on my vision board. I also have like drinking more water on here so I have like a girl holding like a water bottle on here and just like workspaces because I want to be more productive and things like that. So I did talk about goals. I actually have already written down my New Year's resolutions but I did pick up this planner recently from Target. If I can find it I will link it down below but I really like this planner because it not only lets you like write down your yearly resolutions and like things you want to do but it lets you write down your goals for the week and I think that's really important when it comes to having big goals is just taking the steps to reach those goals. So I have a few goals that I've been writing like for each week like I have like post two YouTube videos this week, get three IG photos posted, grow a thousand on TikTok this week, get links updated, secure a paid deal, journal each day, read each day. So things like that and that's another thing that I added on my vision board as well is some books I really want to start reading like even if it's little like 10 minutes a day I think that's really realistic for me so than like reading every night so just finding 10 minutes each day to start reading and just doing more stuff like that because I think reading is really cool I just feel like I never have time for it I never really want to get into it so I put that on my like top goals for each week and as I do it I kind of check them off and it kind of just gives you like a good feeling and like a feeling of relief but new year's resolutions I put them down in my phone first and then I went ahead and wrote them down on on my planner my top goal my number one goal is to stay self-disciplined I think that is like the number one thing to help with consistency like you have to be disciplined in order to be consistent and that that is my top goal to continue to grow my platform so I really want to start being more consistent on here on TikTok as well as on Instagram I've already kind of started being consistent on TikTok and like I've been seeing tremendous growth I've gotten some really cool brand deals which you guys will be seeing very soon so I've already actually started to check some things off of my goals that I created and I'll tell you guys some of those things I've already got my first four-figure brand deal so that was like one of my top goals for 2022 and it's literally the second week of January and I did that this week another one of them is to wake up at 8 a.m. each day I've been doing that each day and just having more time during the day to work rather than sleeping in a little bit later so doing that another one was also to become a brand ambassador surprisingly I've already became a brand ambassador for two of my favorite brands literally within the second week of January so I've checked that off of my list even though this is like only the beginning I think it's just really exciting to know that I wrote these things down and like they're coming true or like I'm reaching those goals I also want to move this year like I feel like that has to happen I'm making more money I also have more possessions. I have a lot of things that I own now. I have lots of clothes. I just need more space. So with moving out, I have cooked more. When I was in the UK and I had my own space, I was cooking a lot more, literally cooking almost three meals a day, eating a lot healthier. And I feel like that's a lot easier to do when you're in your own space and you have your own kitchen. So that's one of them. I really want to buy a new car. So I want to buy a Jeep Wrangler. My car works fine. I'm literally gonna drive it until the wheels come off. But if the time comes, I really do want to invest in buying myself a new car some milestones so like numbers I want to reach for YouTube TikTok Instagram and again that comes with consistency I want to get my first Google Adsense paycheck so I'm excited for that and to continue posting on here another one is to be reposted by a big brand I think that's going to come with my four-figure brand deal so just being posted by like big brands is just something that's very exciting for me being able to see my face and being, a being able to know that a brand wants me to like represent them and they think that I'm worthy enough to be posted on their page um, make my first designer purchase 
I feel like that's just like something that's in the air but I do want to make my first designer purchase on my own this year and I think that I'll be able to reach those goals find my true style grow following on Pinterest I want to be more active on Pinterest and just sharing anything that I share on Instagram on Pinterest as well reading one book a month like I said so just reading each night whether that's 10 minutes or 20 minutes I want to read more and that's basically it for my goals like those are my main big goals that I have for 2022 yeah those are all of my goals for 2022 but i did want to leave you guys with something before i end this video i know this can be like a very inspiring time with seeing everybody setting these new goals for themselves and all of these wins that they want to have in 2022 but for those of you guys that are looking at 2022 as just like another day and you guys are probably wondering like oh why do you have to wait to 2022 to set these goals for yourself i just think that it is important to know that when you do see these things on instagram and when you do see these things on tiktok pinterest wherever you see them that everyone is just posting a highlight real of their life you probably relate to these people a lot more than you actually think you do they're probably a lot more like you than you think they are everyone on instagram and on social media is just posting the highlights you do not know the behind the scenes so just always keep that in mind when you are looking at social media and things like that especially during this time where everyone's excited and posting and looking back on 2021 but yeah so that's all that i have for you guys in today's video i wanted to give you guys a huge thank you for supporting me in 2021 with my new channel and like the growth that i've had literally in just this one year so thank you guys so so much Hope you guys all had a happy new year and i'm looking forward to posting more in 2022 so until next time i will see you guys in the next video Bye. Every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. Say it, you a bad bitch, boy.